this exercise we are really going to work on one movement of your shoulder blades and that is shoulder blade depression or the ability to bring your shoulder blades away from your ears and feel a lot of those muscles doing the movement which a lot of people struggle with for this exercise you may or may not need a couple of yoga blocks if you have some wrist sensations we'll kind of show you how to do that but what you're going to do is get into a seated position if you have some hip, hip pinchiness here you're going to widen those legs a little bit if that is still uncomfortable you can let your legs be straight um, but if you're able i would like them here and i would like to have a heavy tailbone so i'd like you to be in a little bit of flexion in your spine rather than extension once you hear then from here the first position is just going to be pressing your shoulder blades down lifting your butt up and holding this position so if this is too difficult or you have some wrist issues, you can rotate your wrists out. And then from here, press your shoulder blades down and hold. If this is still bothersome for your wrists or too difficult, try rotating your wrists all the way back and doing the same thing and hold. If that bothers your wrists or forearms, the other option is to go up on yoga blocks, seated position and hold here. This is going to be a little bit of a regress position or easier, um, but again, it doesn't matter. Pick what works best for you. The goal is to find a position where you can hold and work on breathing. So we're gonna do about five to six breath cycle here or whatever's prescribed. So find that position. Make sure that we are thinking about your shoulder blades pressing down. You should feel all of this stuff squeezing to really push you up off the ground. Then from here, we are going to breathe in wherever you can. We wanna think about expansive breath down into our sides, into our mid and upper backs as well, and forwards a little bit as well. Then as we exhale, we're going to think about closing the front. So up here, hold, inhale, exhale. Reach a little bit more, inhale, exhale. Good, you're gonna do that for the prescribed amount of time. Remember, as you inhale, we went slow breaths. I probably even did them too fast when I was demoing. And we went slow exhales, feeling a little bit more compression as we're pushing into the ground. And you're gonna get a really good combination of things happening with your abs and your shoulder blade muscles, which is going to help with all kinds of things like pull-ups and push-ups and any type of handstand work that you wanna do. And it's just gonna help you have stronger, happier shoulders. So as you do this, you want to make sure that you can breathe. If you cannot breathe or you are red face and shaking, maybe modify it a little bit. I want you to be able to breathe so you can get more out of the exercise rather than just make it so hard. And then as you are inhaling, remember it's not, it's. Ideally we would want about one and a half to two times of an exhale as your inhale. So work on progressing for the very beginning, just do what you can. And then signs of progress are going to be being able to inhale slower, feel your inhale in more places, exhale for longer, and maybe even progress to off the yoga blocks onto the ground if that's where you start. Those are gonna be signs of progress, but remember those can take weeks and months, so be patient and do this super consistently.